people, John again. Um, today I'm going to show you my Deep Purple record collection. So we're going to start off with In Rock. This is on Harvest. Inside there. This, is, uh, this record is SHVL777. It's a gatefold as well. It hasn't been open for a while. So you got them two sides. Nice and shiny cover there. Uh, so this would be the um, English one, I think. Yep. Yeah. Hayes, Middlesex, England, EMI Records. And let's see. Inside there, that side. That side. The lyrics. And, um, that's it fully out, opened up. Just check what the, um, the vinyl's like. Just on one of these paper sleeves that if you've watched my other videos, you'll know I can't stand. And the record's in good condition to excellent. A few very little light marks on it, but nothing too bad. Um, and there is the Harvest label, 1970. And there's side one. And then we can go on to Fireball. And I've got two of these. So we're going to check out if they're different, um, which they are. And how I can tell that is this one here has got no barcode. This one's the SHVL793 in stereo, and this one here is a later edition, and this has got a barcode, so always look out for that. And the number is an FA number, uh, 4130931, so that's a later one. Um, it might say down here when it was done. Uh, no, it doesn't. But the actual um, rear cover on the original has no uh, track listing. And on this uh, reissue, um, it's got the track listing and the members of the band. Um, the front cover is virtually identical. We'll just open both of these up and check this out. Right, so this is obviously this is a single disc copy, and it's got the fame label up there. If ever you see the fame label, it's usually a reissue. Um, and there's that's it, even though it says 1971 on there, it's not a 1971 record. The album is, but not the actual record. So there we go. Um, the difference between that and the original, well first of all this one's a gatefold. And in there you've got the members of the band and the track listing. Uh, EMI Harvest. And then down here, you've got the SHVL793 number down there as well. And I'll show you the vinyl. The vinyl's in a paper sleeve, uh, which says Made in Great Britain. And we've got the Harvest label just there with the SHVL793. 1971, so that's some numbers matching 
records and cover and that record other than just a little light dust on it just needs a very light clean and um, that's an original the next record to go on to that I've got is machine head and this one has got no barcodes on this is um, a TPSA 7504 and it's made in Great Britain uh, the track listings on the bottom down here and it says 1972 on there uh, on purple records um, and it was printed and made by Garrard and Lofthouse Limited so I'm sure this is an original let's just double check so this is a gate fold again vinyl record and um, you've got the band members in there the track listing up here and it says there this album was written and recorded in Montreal Switzerland between the 6th and 21st of December 1971 on there and just a, it's, a, it's got a few thanks on there um, and now let's have a look at the vinyl one of his horrible sleeves again and some purple just there I don't know if you can see that properly the label's not mint it's got a couple of little stains on it just foxing stains thank god um, don't want any other stains on there um, so yeah TPSA 7504 I'm going to double check that that is a correct um, original but I think it is so um, we'll, we shall see and I will put it in the comments below or the description if it wasn't uh, the next record I've got two of and um, made in Japan this one's gatefold the number on it is TPSP351 and it's a 2 LP record set I've got a funny suspicion that this one is missing one of the LPs and yes it is it's only got one we'll just see which one it is um, this is on purple um, so this is uh, number this is side four and three so we're missing side one and two um, I think someone gave me this record because they knew I liked deep purple but mentioned it had one missing so I'm on the hunt for um, the first um, disc so we're going to just check um, what the other one is this one's down here the other one this one's gatefold again um, made in Japan no barcode so it's old uh, TPSP351 again and let's just double check this this one's in really good condition for its age uh, let's just see inside oh and the cover art is the same as the other one just like that um, and then this one has two vinyls in it so we've got three and four purple records 1972 and the other one just check it's the same and this is the other one and number one yep yeah, one and two side and this is TPS 3511 as well so I'm hoping 351 yeah yeah that's the same one 
So, we're all good there. It's a little story about, uh, or in the picture, which I found out recently. Um, in around um, this area, um, Phil Colin of Def Leppard, the guitarist, is actually in the picture. Um, it's quite, I don't know which one of them he, he, hears, he is, but he said in, he's shown in an interview where he is roughly, and it's in that area. So if anybody um, knows which one it is on there, they can comment below. Um, I can't make it out. Obviously, he was only probably a kid then. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool tonight. Um, especially if you're a Def Leppard fan like me. Um, the next record I'm going to show you is I have three of these. Um, I'm not sure why, but I'm missing Burn. I used to have Burn. I'm sure I had Burn. But I've got Stormbringer, um, and I've got obviously three, one, two, and three. And um, these are all TPS 3508s, no barcodes on them. Uh, EMI records on purple records label. So I'm going to take this one out. The lyrics are all on the back. Just there. Paper sleeve again, purple records, Stormbringer. Second album to feature David Coverdale, who's my favourite singer anyway. And um, just put that one in there as well. Put that in there for now. And these are hopefully identical. Check. Yep, identical and excellent condition. And the last one of them, this one. Um, this is when it used to advertise. Uh, also available on cassette and cartridge. <laughs> Back in the day. So, yeah, there's another one, and this one's in um, very good condition. A couple of light marks on it, but nothing too bad, and needs a clean. So, thank you there a minute. The next record I've got uh, features David Coverdale again, and uh, it's made in Europe. And this is on EMI Records, uh, Purple Records um, label. And um, from 1976, obviously this was recorded before then. Um, this is by Garrod and Lofthouse Limited. So this must, I'm sure this is an original one. Uh, the number is, um, the code number is TPSA7517 in stereo and uh, it's a gatefold and pretty cool artwork in there and um, it's only a single vinyl oh, right it's on purple the vinyl's in really good nick and the code on this is the same, TPSA 7517, so, 1976. So this one obviously was recorded um, in early 75. Obviously, um, yeah, here it is. All titles recorded at Graz in us. I think I've got that right. In Austria on the 4th of April 1975. And I can't even pronounce some of these. There's one in Germany, 5th of April 1975, and Paris in France on 7th of April 1975. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, the next 
record <coughs> there in a minute, is my favourite Deep Purple record. Some say it shouldn't be called a Deep Purple record, but I disagree. Just because Richie Blackmore is not in the band, don't mean anything. <laughs> Get it? Don't mean anything. That's the song of theirs. Um, or don't mean nothing or whatever it is. Um, right. Here we go. Just checking. Right, these are, I've got one, two, three, four. They are all gatefolds. They are all TPSA 7515s. Um, they've all got the same track listing same amount of tracks the artwork is all the same I'll open this one up nice and shiny cover there's some cool this one's a bit, a bit dirty up there needs a clean um, so yeah Hayes Middlesex England, EMI Records, some really good black and white photos there, Tommy Bolin, David Cordell, John Lord, Ian Pace, and um, yeah, Glenn Hughes as well, I nearly missed him, so yeah, that's uh, pretty cool, let's have a look at the vinyl. This one's got a lyric sleeve. My favourite track there, You Keep On Moving. Um, and Purple Records again. And TPSA 7515. Exactly. Oh, it's a bit. Needs a clean this one. Um, but all on Purple 1975. And quickly show you this one. This one's in a lot better condition. This is the inside of it. Oops, you're going to come out. And this again, really good copy of the lyric sleeve and uh, vinyl's very good and, uh, and um, yeah them two as well I won't open them but they I think I've done these on another video and these are in excellent condition as well so yeah so that is it. Oh no, sorry, nearly missed out something. Um, I've got these three. So I've got two of the same one. These are later on. Um, these are this one's a collector's item in purple vinyl, and it's that there. It's the Mark II um, purple singles LP. Um, I'll open this up. So that's the back of it. Now this was released by EMI Records on the purple label. Um, lots of uh, information there by Jeff Barton. Um, it's got Smoke on the Water. This is the live side, sorry. It's Smoke on the Water, Black Knight, Child in Time. And then on the studio side, you've got Woman in Tokyo, Never Before, When a Blind Man Cries, and Painted Horse. And um, these tracks were from 73, 77, sorry, 73, it's got 1977 there, that must be a live version, one of the live versions, and 1972. And um, let's have a look inside. Really horrible come again, and there's the purple vinyl people. Look at that. 
really cool um, so yeah these are the Mark II singles um, and this I think this LP was released in 77 ish doesn't actually say it's a TPS 3514 so I might I'm gonna have to look that up and see um, when that one was released but I'm sure it was 1977 ish so if anybody else knows they can put in the comments below the um, next the next one I've got is um, Deep Purple Anthology this is a gatefold and um, it's got loads of cool tracks on here done by EMI Records again on Harvest label um, and what's it say on here? this was released in 1985 um, and you've got right from Hush from 1968 all the way through to 1975 where you keep on moving the last track um, so it's got all the singers and the guitarists well all the members really there pictures of them um, so this was there's over a hundred minutes on this um, on these records uh, it says they're di uh, digitally remastered direct metal mastered and includes pre three previously unreleased tracks which would be Shadows, um, Love Help Me, these were 1985 and um, where's the other one? Freedom, I'm assuming that's unreleased at the time let's see, oh is it that one there? let's just double check What's the unreleased ones? There's just some stars there. Stars are the mono versions. I'm assuming that's the unreleased ones as well. Have they got. No, nope, it might tell me in here. This is pretty cool. I've not looked at this one before. Um, gonna need a little bit of a wipe. So yeah, hopefully you can see that better in that light let's have a look at the um, thingy yeah Freedom's pre the third previously unreleased track um, yeah and Shadows and Help Love Help Me are the two previously unreleased tracks uh, until now only to be found on an acetate of which is believed three exist in the world. Hmm. Okie dokie. Right inside here, they're on these black and silver harvest labels. So there's the um, there, and the number on this or letter and numbers is E two six zero six one three one. made in the UK. The side one is the first this. There's mono tracks on here and stereo. Um, so that's that side. And that side. The next um, record I've got are theirs. Um, is I've got two of these and they're the A's and B's the singles um, and this was released by Garrod and Lofthouse Limited or they did the um, probably the artwork uh, EMI Records Hayes Middlesex England on Harvest um, just see I'm just trying to find a date Maybe these were. See, these. This one's still got the price ticket on. W. H. Smith, two pound eighty-five, and then they put it in the sale 
199. This is on the yellow harvest label. Um, and again, it's the A's and B's. So I'm assuming that the collector's one. Oh no, because that's only the Mark II lineup. So this will be all of the um, all the version, all the um, Mark One, Mark Two, Mark Three, and Mark Four, Mark Five. So that's that one. Not much on that really. That's. Uh, Still can't find a date. But this one's got a um oh no, it's the same. Yeah, this is yeah, S H S M two O two six as well. And um this is definitely pre um, CD because it just says available on cassette as well. Oh my god, it's purple! Didn't realize that the other one's not purple. Oh well, that was a surprise. Um, so there you go, you've seen it at the same time as me. I've never opened this. Um, sound. Doesn't say on the um, label that it's a uh, limited edition purple records. And the numbers match as well. Did I see a date on there? And that side is mono, or one of them. One of the songs is mono. If anybody knows when that um, this record was released, just put a comment below. I suppose I'd be, be an idea for me to look it up. But Jeff Barton's put a, a write up there as well, like on the Mark II edition. It might even be the same. No, it's a different write up. So, yeah, um, that's my Deep Purple stuff. Um, Sorry there wasn't more, um, I've mainly only ever collected um, vinyl if it, come, if it comes my way or if I've um, come across it in a record shop um, and I normally only ever collect the David Coverdale stuff but um, the other stuff has just come my way through friends or just um, going to car boots and record shops so okie dokie. Um, Cheers for watching this video and uh, I'm going to have a look for loads more to show you. So there is lots more. Just trying to get it all together. I haven't time to do it so keep rocking.